Steve, your cards are now up. Sharik. Yeah, just getting clothes on. We should have the forge running by now. Come on. I will meet you outside. Or not. You good? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. There's plenty on my plate, as you know. I wanted to get an early start this morning. <clears throat> but I had to catch up on the ledgers. <sighs> After that trip with those mercenaries, that is. Yeah. Marcus? <laughs> Sepulchre? She's not here, right? Ooh. Okay. Huh? Uh, it, the thing. Yeah. What about it? Um, you just speak privately if we could. Both of you come up to my study. Your alarming disposition concerns me. Same here. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. What time did you come back? I was down there in the early half of the evening. <sighs> it's not the time you went to sleep. I was on watch all night. Man, the last yeah. I heard, she was gone. No, 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 she's not gone. <sighs> okay. Troubling news. Before you start your day, what have you planned to do? Right after you left, our little meeting. There was a lady covered in blood who came to knocking at the door. One of the bathhouse workers. She said Soma was in trouble. She, he was bleeding out. So I, I went over as fast as I could. <coughs> um, Tordy did as well. Uh, Zevrik, those who were here. And when I... When I went to the back of the bathhouse... So my... He... He laid there dead. So much dead? Who did this? They said... Who? The, the sergeant. The one that got in trouble for him calling the whistle. They took Basil. He refused. And they shot him through the heart. God, but do not God. mourn for him. But, but do not mourn for him, my lord. What do you mean? 
I, th I thought him dead. I thought him dead myself. I went to go grab something, anything. I, I couldn't contain this situation. When I returned, that bolt had wedged itself out of his heart on its own. No one to help him. It just... It just... <laughs> I don't know how, but it did. Then more people started to try to show up. I showed them the door because I... I tried to contain the situation. But I think our fears are realized here, my lord. Soma told me once more, he is dead. And that she spoke to him. Yes. Whispers in the sweet dark. Where is he now? I would assume back at the clinic, he told them he was healed by a potion. He's walking and talking then? Yes. Clear as day. As if nothing had happened. Have we been infiltrated this whole time? I don't know. But you, you heard it yourself down there, the same as I. It's in our blood. It's in our eyes. It, it's in our ears. It's in everything. <clears throat> Yes, but why has it not done anything? What is the purpose? I, I don't understand. To, to make us suffer? I don't know. No, you have to understand. When we first came across these things in Ledford, they did not hide, Marcus. It was a siege. They infected the town. They started pouring out of the buildings, trying to get into the keep to kill the rest of us. It was a fight for survival. They were leaping over the walls. Oh, my God. We had lost part of the castle itself. Once we had eventually gained control, we had taken the infected and burned the bodies. But those who were given the elixir were fine. Until it seems they died. I tried to go grab a torch because I knew what I had to do, but it wasn't necessary. But now we have a problem. Not just that. What do you mean? Several witnesses to this event. Oh, fuck. I know each of their faces, I know their names. But it means... Who? Loose ends. One of the bathhouse girls. One of the civilian workers. Severick, unfortunately. And Tori. Soon after, the tavern keep had ran in to check on her. Now, unfortunately, she thought I, and by extension, the rest of us here, are the same as Soma. She thinks we're dead, too. I lost Vesrick. all sense of trust with her that <clears throat> Bezrin's told her almost everything. I don't know what he expected, but it is partially my fault. She even knows our relationship to each other. How? She knows too much. Inferences, the way we talked last night. <clears throat> Here and there, she pieces things together.
She knows too much. <sighs> but here's the kicker. Here's the really fucked up thing. I went to go check on her, because I knew this was a problem. In Gerbaum's study, uh, his office down at the tavern. You've, you've probably been there once or twice. I went to check on her. The door had just opened by itself. Not even a gust of wind or anything. I went to go see. The room was completely dark. All of the candles... <laughs> snuffed. It had to be her. It looked like they had seen a ghost. After I tried to calm her down, she was in a fit. She kept saying not a word, not a word, not a word, over and over again. I tried to ask her, Brahm, why? Why would she visit? Now if you could please tell me, how did Risa die? Injuries while fighting in a normal manner. There was nothing magical in nature. Weapons. <clears throat> I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure Kyla would remember better than I. I wasn't there. Uh, you all went to try and halt the Imperial advance. Uh, the militia force. That's right. When she came back, she was... <sighs> Conventional weapons. Mm hmm stabbed a few times and could not heal her in time he told me that he and her knew each other by name she spoke to him she said his name and he recognized her face I pried further I said how, how could you possibly know that and with a bereaved heart he told me that he looked upon her face and wept as he buried her. My lord, I don't think he was lying that night. He said he buried her. He was there. That's... All those years ago, he was there. Girl, from my... I've never seen his face before. I... It's not a recognizable face. There's... That would mean he's from Ledford. That's not possible. Is it? I didn't know everyone there. People went about their own business. I... I guess there's many strange coincidences in this life. Where is he now? I believe he's still back at his study. With Tori. Where did he go over there now? And find out what he knows. How could he have possibly known anything about burying her? We need to deal with them. Tordy included. What do you suggest? <sighs> well, I had a lot of time to think last night. Um, <sighs> the worst thing we could do right now is nothing. To leave her be and let her go along her way. Another way, if we didn't want to deal with her, is to send her away, convince her to leave somehow. But that would just tell her to tell someone. Like she would tell Dredge, Dredge would tell Nozos, Nozos would tell all the rest. If we don't want her to talk, I would, I'd <clears> want <throat> her to live. We could take her, I guess, her tongue so she can't speak. I know she can't write. That would make her life a living hell, but at least she would live. She's been learning. Miriam's um, been teaching her. Oh, fuck! Great, that's not even an option. Why, why are we, we so sure she's going to talk? My lord, but... I'm not sure, 
But if there's even a chance this fucks us up, wouldn't you want to act on that? The mission comes first. You told me that. We're in a predicament. We are. What if I'm going to get anywhere, even if we get all the men that we need? We need a ship and people who know how to use said ship. Because of our expertise, you should be able to replace several other people on that ship. They don't have to come with us on the bloody campaign, Marcus. I have something. Okay. I need transportation. Speak. She's an ex-pirate. If anyone knows that, any of the gods here, if that gets spread around, that basically blacklists her from a lot of places, including Nautus, where we are. We could hold it over her okay. head. Okay. Blackmail. Yes. She has dirt on us. We have dirt on her. It's an option. It doesn't mean we should stoop to that level. <laughs> You're talking about. But he's onto her. something. I agree. Hang on. It's not a you. half measure. Both of you, hang on. You both have points, and I understand why you're making the point. We're dead if this goes to the wrong people. All of us. We are. <clears throat> Tori is in no position to make enemies of us, I do not think. But we have to make sure that her fear does not overtake her. And the way to do that is Vezrin. Mm. It's her weakness. You're gonna have a long fucking talk with him. I don't care if it's at knife point. You're going to have a long talk with him and make it very clear that right now the weakest link in our chain is his love interest. A drunk and he drunk needs girl. to either get her on the same fucking page or it becomes a problem. He of all people should understand that. One fuck up is all it's going to take. I can do that. Yeah. That's my preliminary thought. But I need to go speak to Gerbrum first. We all I'll go do. with you. Yes. He's convinced that tomorrow night he'll die by her. He might not have to wait that long. I... <sighs> he's told me he's not a good man. And I believe him. I don't understand how he knows what he fucking knows. He talks as if he knows a lot of things. A lot. He's an innkeeper. What? Well, that, and he says he knows people like me. I was to insinuate that he thought I was in Pira. <sighs> I might have spun a leak. Aye. There's only one way to fix a leak. Good morning, Tazine. Oh, Marcus. Montre. Severick, we're busy, but we'll need to talk. Okay. I just sit tight.
It's unlocked, gentlemen. Gerbrum, good morning. <laughs> of all the people to walk through my door. Huh. Well. You always did strike me as a man of action. <laughs> Please have a seat if you so desire. I'll stand. Very well. So, what could There's I a line assist you, gentlemen? Questions that I'm going to put your way, and I require answers to them, Mr. Gerber. I would like things to remain cordial, but they are careening towards a course where they will not be, and I hope you can understand the undercurrent here. Even recent events, yes, Dazim, I can quite easily understand that. And you are correct, I wish things to remain cordial. So please, ask your questions. You've been made aware of the creature it seems to stock the night, then, considering what I've been told of your encounter in the evening. Know her. Smelled her rot. Felt her voice pull apart in my mind. Oh, yes. It's not a her, hey, girl, girl. it's an it. <laughs> you are correct. My apologies. Now you see that it is one of its own kind. There are many of them. Many, Mr. Gerber. They reside deep underground. That's why they never bother you or anyone else here. Sometimes they wander out. Before I preface any further information, there were some words that you had to say last night <clears throat> to a man of mine. That insinuated that you had some sort of prior knowledge about us. You are correct. I know what that is. It's uh, quite the story. Should I regale you, or should I keep it succinct? I think you should tell me everything that you are aware of. Because your truthfulness and your honesty determines whether or not you live. A fair assessment. Very well. I shall try to be as succinct as possible. One night, there was a disturbance in my tavern. A group of people, Desrin, Marco, and Morty here, there was some kind of uh, commotion. I came up, investigated it, but uh, they were rather non-pulsed, and I was forced to leave to attend to a small matter outside. When I came back, I found Torty standing in front of my door here, and inside I found Good Vesren standing apparently alone. Sword out, eyes closed. I was naturally quite angry with him. How dare he try and break into my office? That is when we both heard. Torty, seemingly dragged outside by an unseen force. I was beside myself. I demanded an explanation. And they agreed to give me one. We went back to Veslin's residence and he told me that it was a ghost that did it. As you can imagine. I thought him an idiot that he took me for a fool. 
ghost of all things. Can you imagine? <laughs> but he said some interesting things. He described this ghost, pale, gaunt, long red hair, that it was apparently stalking a lot of people. And that it apparently had hurt Torty. I tried to believe him, I tried, I promise you, but the only thing that he convinced me of was he was some kind of smuggler, or gangster, or criminal, and I was so angry with him. So, I tried to do something about it. I uh, created a petition regarding some of the goings on of the guards, their collections, their misdeeds, their harassment of Torty. And I included that I suspected there was some kind of criminal element trying to infiltrate Notis. I was called up to the keep. But instead of the board of nobles, that I was, uh, expecting. I was instead cornered by one of our fair parents. Amen. And he said, what? Well, I wonder, a uh, businessman such as myself, why, uh, why should he bother with other nobles? Certainly I am important enough to bring it directly to the dynasty, whatever I had to say. So I talked, I told him about the guards beating down every business in town. I told them about the guards attacking Torty. And then I told him, I thought Vezran was a smuggler. And at that point he stopped me and he said, do you actually have any proof beyond your own word? I said, no. He said, those were very serious allegations. And that I... should... not expect to... get someone arrested based solely off of my own word. That next time I should bring some... evidence. And I was planning on it. But then... The next night, a guard was attacked just outside my inn. <laughs> Full chain mail ripped through in seconds, surrounded by witnesses. And so there things that the outer door, lock it, come back. <sighs> I remember meeting with uh, Mr. Aldo. I'm sure you remember him. And Sergeant Sanders, surprisingly enough, we found ourselves at the spot where the guard was attacked. And we found things that did not make sense. Droplets of what could be blood, but they were green and discolored. And then Sergeant Sanders relays to me that Sif had apparently attacked something <coughs> at the Bonus. same spot. And <coughs> she had her axe covered in that same green liquid. So now I am beside myself again. I think, oh no, something is, something is breaking its way into the wall. Something is threatening us. The next day, I'm relaying this story. It's blocked. To a local hunter. I'm relaying this story to a local hunter. By the name of Raven. And I'm describing the entire event. And then out of the blue, he says the strangest thing. Did you happen to find any mushrooms nearby? That stops me dead in my tracks, and I think, mushrooms? <laughs> what? What could possibly have anything to do with mushrooms? <laughs> I asked him as much. But he waved me off, and he went on his way. So I, uh... I found myself again perplexed, and I went to another hunter 
Miss Lorelei, and I asked her, is there anything she knew of that had mushrooms as a calling card? And you know what she said? That she couldn't tell me that it was too dangerous. But that I should always keep fire near me. You know who else who told me I should always keep fire near me? Vezrin and Torti. In my mind it clicked and I thought, no, 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 there's no way she... I pressed her harder. I wanted answers. She did not relent. So I backed off. I did not want to make her believe I was trying to threaten her because I was not. I was just seeing the pattern of something that I did not like. Later that day, <laughs> I saw Raven again. I went up to him. I said, I do not know what is happening, but I know something is happening. And wh whoever you and whoever else is involved in this, please just work as fast as you can because more people are going to die every day that this is not solved. I was convinced of it. I thought that would be the end of it. <sighs> he asked if we could speak privately. I agreed. I took him back to my tavern. He took me into the back. He sat me down and said, I would need a stiff drink for what he was about to tell me. And he proceeded to relate to me something out of a fairy tale. <laughs> a plague of mushrooms that does not just kill you, but turns you into something else. That this plague is something not just of nature. It was controlled by some. So the hunter relayed this information to you today? Yes, and he did. <sighs> when did he tell you this? <laughs> weeks ago. How many he told weeks me. Ago? Three, maybe four. Who have you told? Before I go any further, I would like to ask a question of my own, if you would permit it, Tazim. What is it? May I ask what your intentions are for notice? That is none of your concern. Your only focus is if you get out of this room alive, Gurbrum. Once I have an adequate assessment of your character, we'll see if A, I don't slit your throat, and B, inform you of what I think you need to know. Fine. At first, I did not inform anyone. How could I? I couldn't hardly believe it. But there is something about me that you must also know. It will inscribe what I chose to do next. And whatever your judgment of me, my intention is only to ensure that notice does not come apart. See. So I took what I learned and I went back to Berna Man. So the Baron knows. Everything you have just described. He only has my word. And you, you told this to who? Me. The Baron Remem. Is that the only person who knows?
Who else? Gavrum. The Baroness? His brother? No. I was called before the Baron to explain myself. I thought it would be just he and I. But waiting there beside him. It was Major Taubman of the Imperial Embassy. The fucking Major? Oh, fuck. <laughs> you fool! You bloody fool! Hmm. The Imperials know everything that that hunter told you. Is that what you're telling me? No. They don't know that it was Raven that told me, and I changed the details somewhat. That doesn't <sighs> matter. They burn places like this to the ground over things like this. They won't mm. care about your sovereignty. They'll go through every back channel necessary to make the rest of your rulership think that this province and its people need to die. Mm. Ah! I was Is that why the ships left? left? I only had my own nightmares to fill in the blanks. Let's not be too hasty. No. Let's think this through. I thought... You that know as well as I do, that if they got word of this, you know what's coming. Yes, two armadas, not just one. The whole campaign against this town. They'll have to leave, we can't stay, they'll kill everyone here. The Major did not say he was intending to do anything but verify. I do not even know if he made the report. You will choose to believe what you will. Let me put it into perspective for you, Mr. Gerbrum. They report anything out of the ordinary. This sort of thing is something that the Imperium watches very closely. And mm. a lot of it was the reason why Ireland was led to its downfall. Shame I was not given the proper context then. And who should have been given in the first place? place? You should not have been told a single thing <sighs> by a fool boy who has no idea what he's talking about. This is worse than a leak. We need to do this something as bad as it can get. What is to be done? I don't know. If this has already made its way to the hands of the Imperial Major, there is nothing we can do. He has condemned everyone here. It's not going to be a military affair anymore. It's going to be an inquisitorial one. Oh, fuck. And if they want to stay in the good graces, at least the Baron that's dealing with them, they're not going to intercede or interfere. <laughs> You asked me to be truthful. Yes. And I am be being as truthful as I have ever been in my life, Percy. So allow me to recap so I understand what will I stay my mm. blade. That everything that this hunter told you about what he knew about these creatures, about us, this information made its way back to Baron Amen. In the Grand Scope, yes. Though he does not know and any of you, personally. <laughs> and this information that you gave to the Baron Amem, the Imperial Major Tobin was also present, and now knows everything. That he was. Oh, fuck. Tell me, Gerbrum the Tavern Keeper, why it is that you are bringing such reports to the Baron? Why not the Capitano? <laughs> the Capitano. 
it I will be far worse. Yes, yeah. but there is a hierarchy, Gerbram, and I don't see how you fit into it as a tavern keeper bringing reports to a baron. I have been the tavern keeper notice for a very long time, it seems. Longer than any of you have been here. I knew Baron Jodar, I knew the Baroness. They were quite friendly with me. I am familiar with the family. Just look at Kovaz's escapades in my tavern for that much. A very long time ago, when I was just starting out. But an Amem approached me. He wished me to be someone who could report on what was happening on the street level of Mortis. But why in God's name the Major of all people? I don't know. I don't know why he wished to tell him. I assume because he is being influenced by the Major, as Kovaz is by his pet elves. Let me again express why I'm even telling you all of this, Tazim. Because I fully expect that I am going to be dead by the end of today. Things in notice are getting only worse. They're getting worse. Whatever you and your group is involved in, everything outside of it, everything inside. I was paid for my services, but there's a fat load a bag of silver can do when you're sitting on a pile of ashes! A mim does nothing. Kovaz does nothing. The Baroness does fucking nothing! As much as I imagine that you threaten notice, you all seem to be the only ones doing something. Which at first was a terrifying thought. Well, Gerbram, but it doesn't matter what we do anymore. It doesn't matter what yes. we know or understand. Because you have taken yeah. this information and given it to the Baron, who has given it to the Imperials. We will send this information back. It was probably on that fucking ship when it left. And we probably have weeks before the next one comes. And it will drop off the kind of men who are not of the military, who are not diplomats, ones that know what this bestial influence is, and they will burn people whether they are guilty or not. So you might very well get your town of ash, and the only person you'll have to thank is yourself. <clears throat> yeah. With all your good intentions, you might have condemned in the entirety of Nordis. Funny. Fuck. I wonder. This I wonder if that's what Vesrin thought when he told me that it was a ghost. Hmm. The man was trying to misdirect you so you didn't get involved in something that would cost you your life. Well. Unfortunate that it proceeded the way it did then. I don't care how you figure it out. I don't care what you do. The hunter has spent his goodwill with me. Now. You have already made these reports to the Baron and them. Yeah. And the Major already knows. Killing you will do nothing. Know this. That the ramifications of the information that has been given to a party that does not care about your town or your province or your barony is going to cost everyone dearly. Anything that might have been able to be done, I do not think can be with the influence of the Baron's imps being here. Mm. I do not know how much you know, Gerbram. You do not seem like a normal man, considering that you are what? Informant? Spy? Whatever you want to call yourself. A man past redemption? If that <laughs> Imperial presence is replaced by what I'm talking about, nothing will matter. 
So if you have the Baron's ear, if he listens to anything you say, then it would be very wise to start driving a wedge between himself and the Imperials. Because otherwise, I swear to you, my good man, that when those Inquisitors arrive on that ship, they, they will round up the people that you know, that you love, that you care about. Including non-humans first. And they will burn them alive at the stake. Not only to ensure that the infection is destroyed, but because they hate non-humans anyway. The only choice moving forward is to mitigate what has been done. You understand that? After last night, Tazim. Oh, yes. I am fully aware. There is no direct line that we know of from where those things are to here. They come from the deep underground, and I mean deep. Deeper than dwarves go. That is a very rare occurrence. Hmm. You already know this, but there's a large number of people here who are aware of what this threat is and have fought it before. Destroyed parts of it. It's not here yet. But it's something that the world at large has forgotten about. It's poking its ugly face out here and there. If fear-mongering begins by those who know of what this threat is, they will see it's everywhere, and they will set flame to everything in their fear. That cannot be allowed to pass. You judge me how you wish, Tazim. For once in my life, I would gladly accept it. But do believe when I say it is my intent to not see any of this come to pass as much as I can help it. So yes, I will do as you ask. I, I will try. Here, Before you continue your explanation. Fine. I am a man of principle. And mm. ideals. Practicality. What you have done, regardless of fault, will result in the death of most of the people in this town and every non-human that is here. The only thing that can be done is to prevent this being allowed by the barons. Whether it is a mem or anyone else, they would need to turn those ships away as soon as they arrive, because if they do not, that will be the outcome. If this fear-mongering reaches your council, and the Imperium, who has already gotten other diplomats stationed in other provinces, convince the rulers of your nation that this is a real threat that only they can deal with, the casualties that you will experience will be like nothing you have ever seen. And you may very well be on that list, Gerber. Thanks. So this is what's going to happen. Whatever you tell the Baron of Mem, you are going to tell me as well. Whatever happens in this town, actions by the guards, information about this threat, you will tell me, or one of my associates, and there are many more than just the ones in this room. That information will aid us in taking care of the people here and avoid a third party from butchering your population. If I find out that you speak to anyone about this meeting, and I will find out. If you tell anyone about the people that I work with, the people I care about, any of that, I promise you. I will do everything in my power. I will burn every 
single resource that I have available to me, everything that I have to make your life a living hell until I destroy everything you care about. I promise you this. Do not become my enemy. That is the last thing I wanted to do. Because I have seen Good. this thing. They're not invincible and they can be killed. They will try mm. to get into your head. They will try to convince you that they see and hear all. But there's still one thing that I need answered before I walk out of this room. Very well. Ask. You claimed to recognize her face. Said something along the lines of having buried her. Oh. oh, that is a very old wound, but fine. In her face, I saw him. In her face, I saw the first woman I ever loved. And yes, I did bury her. I imagine you can put two and two together. As long as you know that they are not one and the same. I don't... I don't know what is real anymore, does he? Then allow me That's to inform night. you, Gerbram. The corpse that is stalking you is an old friend of ours. One that was murdered by the Imperium and died of her wounds fighting for Ireland. Hmm. She died and we buried her body. Unfortunately, she was sick and we did not know. And this is how we've discovered it. It is not her. It has nothing to do with her. It is a corpse being used by these fiends. Uh, certainly felt real enough. But fine, I take your point. Good. Killing him will do us no good. He's already made his report. There is nothing we can do about it. It makes more sense to work with him and to keep control of the situation. If he steps out of line or does anything outside of what we tell him to, he will die. Gerbram. Uh, How can we trust you? My entire life I have been loyal to nothing but coin, Marcus. If you've ever made that judgment of me, it would be a fair one. But I want you to remember last night, and given the fact that I was ready to throw myself at you, to stop you from pressing against her. I am getting into my twilight years, Marcus, and coin is starting to lose its luster for me. I care about some people, too. I do not want to see them dead. It is simple. Coin still runs this place. Perhaps Coin still runs you. You have a business to keep? I suppose you'll have to find out, won't you? <sighs> Marcus, up until last night, I still didn't believe any of this was real. And now I know it. Within every fiber of my being, that the world I inhabited before yesterday is gone. Everything. And no one is doing anything about it. And whatever you think of me, at a certain point I couldn't care less. You are the only ones that seem to have the will and wherewithal to deal with it. So yes, I want to see you succeed. If I become coinless, in pursuit of that, fine. And at least one more nightmare is gone. 
Okay. And people I care about. If we fail, if we die, we have no reason to believe that when those things take you over, that you're truly dead. I don't think you want to experience anything of such. In your best interest to make sure we succeed, then, isn't it? Yes, it is, isn't it? Good. Then we're on the same page. We're beating a dead horse. Nothing is said about this meeting. You understand me? Certainly not. Good. I'd like to. I'm still not sure if you're a loose end or not. Yeah. That's fair. Not you. Her. I'll make up my mind in the days to come. Especially based on what you do. Start gathering information on where he goes, where he frequents, when he's at the hunter's camp. We're done here. Don't make me regret this, Gerbum. Don't make her regret <clears throat> her mistakes. You want me to arrange a meeting, or you want me to follow him, or you want me to handle it? I want this to be done without any sort of mistakes. Find out where he frequents, where he's most vulnerable. We warned him. Understood. That's all I have to say about that. Don't want me to talk to Vesrum. Forging, shopping, all the things. Oh. Do you think he's around? Uh, Speak to the devils. Well, when he is. Blacksmith and his apprentice. Good day. Hello. Good day. Good Alert day. me when he's around. We'll talk to him. Oh, Good day. Um, um, I've got, uh, you there, mister. Uh, Did I see you for, last night? Um, whatever it was, it wasn't last night? Mr. Moonarsh. Oh. Where at? Oh, nice. The bathhouse, were you there? One sec. You just sleep. Was... You just sleep right now. You're in the house, go. Marcus. Angus. I, uh, I Hand your uh, cop over to the lad over there. Pardon? Can I help you? I was told to give you the it's copper for uh, sharpening. Sure, that's uh, 15. 15. Thank you. Good day. Excuse me. Sharik. Mm -hmm. The man I was speaking to back there, did you see him? Remind me. Uh, his name is Angus, the man I was talking to back there on the, uh, the porch. Mm -hmm. He's one of the people that is currently a loose end for Soma. Severick as well. Understood. Marcus. 
Hey, but water metal. Yes. And person dying of heat stroke. Yes. What? Oh, that is not a... You ready to deliver it here? That person's face first. To deliver it? What do you mean? Oh, no, they're getting back up. Well, if we want to get anything done with the gear wheel, right? What's our next step? Well, our next step in terms of that is all in Morden and the Smith's hands, and they have it covered. Ah, Morden. What I need yeah. your help with. Yes, I've already talked to him about oh, it. He's going to be heart. breaking up and melting down the gear and putting it inside of the mold. What we need to do in that time yeah. oh. is we need to finish up the bridge going over the water wheel itself. Is everything all right, lads? Just checking on you. I see. Sorry. You're going to have to know anyway because I'm going to need you to work closely with him. Me? Yes, you. Fuck. Am I crazy? We said it to his face! Yeah. I warned him! I warned him not once, not twice, but three times! I promised him that if he put everyone at risk, if he opened his mouth, I would have him killed! Did he think me joking? Did he think he knew better? And now not only does the Baron and Mem know about us, know about Ledford, know about what was under it, the fucking Imperial Major knows! That fool hunter has doomed everyone here. Because you know what is coming on the next ship! I want him dead. So it does not happen again. Do you understand me? Understood. <clears throat> not another risk. No more risks. A heavy knock at the door. I'll handle it. I know you will. I'm sorry to put such a task on you. It's like breathing for me. Needs must. This is not what I was expecting to hear. I need to deal with whoever's at the door. Oh, this is... <laughs> you want to talk, Master Dowie? Don't go far. I... Yeah. <sighs> I thought yesterday was bad enough. No, what I wanted to talk to you about doesn't seem like it's all that important now. We'll speak on the roof. So, I apologize for things being in dismay. They're in dismay. You have trouble, blacksmith. A lot of work at the moment. Pressing deadlines. Probably didn't see very much of me yesterday. And this leaves your home in disarray? That's because I had to visit her. Well. <sighs> A dwarf came into town, armored and armed, seeking a reckoning. A reckoning? Aye. To settle a grudge, to right a wrong put against him, 
I spoke with him, and I later learned that the ones who had wronged him apparently were my own clan. It was not brought to my attention. When I looked inside the Damas Kron, there was note of a grudge against a clan known as the Copper Guts. Minor clan. But Dawi nonetheless. And they were blamed, accused of shoddy worksmanship. And the result was that the eldest of the clan went into self-exile and left the holes and the younger brother is the one that visited us he too had left the holds not long after <sighs> as I reckon I can't stand idly by when it comes to this thing and when I saw it I realised that whoever was in charge of it was neglectful in their duties and did not see any evidence brought forth and thus once again like I said it was not brought to my attention these things slip through the cracks every so often sadly and it's not uncommon but I spoke with the young lad and I was able to talk him down from making himself into a kinslayer in attempts to take my life as recompense Instead, I said that I would help him find his wayward brother, and that's where I need your help. I need to put out feelers to see if I can't find a dwarf by the name of Almic. Almic Coppergut. Almic Coppergut. He'd be working more than likely as a smith somewhere. Aye. Okay. I don't know if he's still in Grady or if he's moved on. I don't know if he's on the seas. I don't know if he's sequestered away working as an Umgi smith somewhere. But currently I am under oath to find this boy. This missing Dowie. And I myself intend to have my kinsmen do everything they can to find him. It's an oath after all. I do not renege in my oaths. I am an honourable Man, and I will not see such dishonour and disgrace as much the name of the Stonehammers, <clears> regardless <throat> of whomever well, resulted in it. The problem is, I have no idea where he is, and the younger brother has already been searching for five years. He could be a slave for all I know. It's Gradia. Hmm. Well, fortunately, it is good. The problem I have is that I have no idea. And I can keep my ears open. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Hmm. I'll have my other Dawi spirit the word amongst the Dawi in the town and thus spread word to the other towns and their travels. At the very least, we'll start putting out the feelers and see what happens. <sighs> this... Yes. He was warned. He was warned, and he'll get what's coming to him. <clears throat> hmm. I'll keep my ears open. I gotta go uh, handle some stuff though, okay? I just wanted to let you know, lad. Hmm. Let me know <sighs> if you need me. I'll be right back, chat. I just need to turn off the aircon. It is. It's, it's chilly. It's cold.
I don't decide when your favor is repaid, or my favor due to you. Whatever it is, I'm sure it will be nothing but profitable. Hmm. I would hope so. Well, when noon comes around, Lady Nozos, I will seek you out. Hmm. I'll attack us ready. Everything okay? Yes. I unfortunately just spent ten silver. On? It's part of a larger plan. I'm renting dredge. To do? I take it that's what's happening later today. Yes. To give you the short version, Dredge is painted like a villain in the arena. <coughs> Dredge hates it. It's also not going to help him make it to the Prova Campione. Hmm. Nozos didn't care until she realizes people don't really want a villain to win. She makes far less money with him being seen that way. I reminded her that there is an orc threat. That if Dredge was seen killing beasts that eat people, killing beasts that everyone hates, it would put him in a much better light. She agreed. However, her being her is making me pay for his services, so I'm doing so. What I'm going to have her do is try and help facilitate some sort of political power in my direction. I'm getting tired of sitting in this house and waiting for upstart uh, peasants to threaten everything that we have done thus far. I am baffled and and murderous. I think is the word I'm looking for. I think we I sat him down. Last... We sat him down. Here. Treated him as an equal. Firmly but fairly. And told him that what he did was unacceptable. And it could never be done again. He didn't listen to the counsel of his friends. When he found out we were in town, he pulled me aside and said that he <laughs> dedicates himself to that, my family and that he would do anything for, to protect us. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't seen him do a single this thing is... on our behalf. I thought it was strange considering we hadn't seen oh, him in two and a half years. Other than rat us out, apparently. We have to warn everyone. Some weird... We have to start warning everyone. There is a chance that we might have to flee. I'm going to go ahead and start facilitating that. Hmm. I want you to find out where that man is at his weakest, because I want him dead. Not for revenge, <clears throat> not because it makes me happy, but because he has proven he is untrustworthy that even when we can all sit down and plead with him to keep his mouth shut, he did not listen. You want me to come and get you, or do you want me just to, uh, you know? 
plan for it over the next few days. I don't want this fucked up. If he survives, he may go to someone else. Okay. I'll follow him. No more sense. I don't ask this of you as your father. As you wish, my lord. Can I do something for you, Seth? It's time to go. Already? It's noon. I told them I would head out there as soon as the sun hit noon. Shit. Very well. I will gather some of the others. Selma, come Everyone's inside real fast. I need to hand off morning. to you some of the healing supplies. Morton's inside. inside. I'll let him know. We'll meet you right here. All right. You want me on this? Um, if you know the way to the logging camp, I'll start heading out. I believe you are, wasn't he one of them? Yes, he is. Okay. There you are. Stay here, I'll get the others. Soma, come with me. You wanna fill me in? Understood. Uh, we're going out. I've been in contact with the elves. They're scouting out the orcs. I will be helping them scout the orcs and then once we know their positions we can hit a couple of their patrols and maybe a camp or two force them to take time to recover and lick their wounds while we deal with the situation here you got it do you have healing supplies I have a potion for myself all right good enough for me who else is involved I have two just in case someone uh, it is myself, Don't you, Sarah, uh, Tazim, Morden, Harry, Dredge, and uh, Nolzus. Huh. You got it. That should be ten. And Soma, that's ten. Think of your fight from the other day, it'll be quite the same, if not worse. We'll be going up against the Armadrado uh, Orcs, so be prepared to... Book it if the we green have to. Ones, yes. If we book it, do you know the bridge um, the near the mercenary camp worse. that doesn't have a path on either side? No. I'm sure I'll make do. All right. So where we drop off usually, if you continue going up the river, eventually you hit it's a bridge that has no path on either side. There are traps on the crag side of it, so be careful running through that area. That's where we rally if we have to retreat. Actually, I need to get something. You got it. I'll be back. Are you running head first into more orcs again? No, not head first. Semantics. If you want to say we're going to call the numbers a little bit, then yes, that's what we're doing. Hmm. You ask me, calling the numbers of orcs is a dwindling thing. They reproduce as fast as they're gone. Yes, but we need to buy at least a little time. Not only that, but we're figuring out what they're doing in those crags. If what we think is true is true, then we need to do this now before it's too late. Mm -hmm. That is an interesting idea. I wouldn't mess with the world, lass. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're ready. Just waiting Wait on Harry, the two in there. The axe is as big as my anchor. Yeah. <laughs> Not nearly as crude, though. <laughs> Better than whatever those orcs have. Debatable. I if it can cleave an orc it. skull, I have no complaints. And I've seen it at work. Cleave? No, it'd probably crush mm -hmm. it. Uh, like a watermelon. What do you mean? I keep it sharp. Yeah, then, then yes, maybe. 
With enough swing, anything can cut something in two. What about a loaf of bread? Probably, if it was hard enough. What have you lost? Have you enough bolts? All you have to do is bake it into hardtack and we're good to go. Just sharpen the hardtack. I'm stocked up. Well, best of luck. I have a spare set of iron bolts on me if you need them. Likewise. No more genocide. Hopefully I won't. Genoa? Noble, needed, whatever you wish to frame it as. Fun. It will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. You goddamn right that was my knees cracking. to get something to eat and drink from the tavern before we left, but... Oh well. Alright, listen up. Fuck. <laughs> Shoma is carrying a majority of the healing supplies. Ten bandages. Five advanced healing potions. Holy a troll shit. strength potion for you, in case we come across a troll. I myself am holding on to an advanced healing potion, several bandages, and a stamina potion. If you get hurt, you go to this man. He is not a fighter, you keep him safe. Otherwise, Sif, this is your excursion. We're ready. We're missing, I think, two... Waiting on Harry. Let's see. Zing. Shrink. Sarah. Golden. Edge. Daniel. Kate. I haven't seen Kate today. Let's all go to the tavern so we're out in the open if we're being looked for. I'll all start right. going around town looking for them. If you can't find him and you find Marin, Marin. We're just checking if you had weapons. Great. I'll let them know. Right here, no need to worry. Good, because last time you went out, you were asking people to borrow daggers. Hey, that suits you. Oh, not anymore. Thank you. Sorry, Harry. Harry. Fuck. <laughs> We've all been there. Gaming piece of shit. <clears throat> I don't even know his real name. Take that mask off, Quintus! <laughs> Wait a minute, Bovo? <laughs> <laughs> right. Bovo, where did you get the stilts? Around town, if you can find Marin or Kate. They're at the shop. I'll take a quick look. I think. All right, we'll remain here. Right <laughs> there. Oh. 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 Just over here. <clears throat> I have two doses. Of knockout only. For both of you. We have to use it. We have to use it. We're fucked. If you're looking for Shilbrook, I haven't I seen him. Just letting you know it's there. All right. What about Shilbrook? I didn't see him in the, uh, the guild this morning. He must be out. I don't think he's here. Yeah. Today. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't know. Damn. Well, we'll have to see if he's around. 
I also offered my help, so. Thank you. Nom, nom, nom. You going on another I mean, excursion, sir? Find a troll, you can just have it chase them. <laughs> if we can't find either of the two, <clears throat> or if we can't find Chilbrook or Marin, then sure, you're in. <laughs> no getting clapped uh, uh. this time. Don't you offer your services, I got you, said you were bored. You just fake death, from what I hear anyway. Like a possum. It wasn't a fake death, it was just, <laughs> I was knocked out. Marin, Marin's armor saved me. Hmm. Veseren. Ah, yes. Your plate's waiting for you down at the forge. In a box underneath wonderful, the armor section. Wonderful. I'll go and pick it up, and I have things to drop off for you as well. I don't think either Thank of you. them are available. They might be indisposed. Lady no such Why is everyone. Why is everyone. Alright, mm. then, Lorelei will be our tenth. Are you happy now? Why is everyone in a um going to be busy for a bit? More works. Should be okay. it up. Yeah. Uh let's go. Kick ass, yeah. I stopped it. Yeah. Let's let's go dread. Follow yeah. chef, we're going. Uh, small letters ready for when we return. Uh. Nice. <laughs> 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 Watch where you're fucking going, elf. Nine. Did Marcus stop stop to seem? Uh, Vezrin did. Oh, okay. Just need to talk to Hubbard just for a quick, quick second. You know the way to the camp, right? I think. Locking camp? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Listen, we'll give him another minute if he doesn't show back up because Vezrin pulled him aside. You might have to show him the way. That's fine. You guys can go ahead and I can wait for him. I'd rather not have to wait for someone else, but... I guess I'll give it one more minute to then head out. Tired of waiting. Dude, he looks so fucking cool. Look at this shit. <clears throat> I'd rather not leave someone behind. If it's as bad as they're saying, it's best not. The skirt bit? They're called folds. F A U L D S. It'll be safe getting to the logging camp just after that. <clears throat> Need to keep a tight watch on each other. Can't be getting lost in the crags, especially when not with what's around. Don't get yourself split up if you do, you're dead. And actually, I hired somebody this morning too. I gave him some copper. They were around town, like cleaning. Should I go and drag him back? Okay, so what do we need to go do here? No. No. All right. Stay here. Wait for him. We're going. You got it. Can't wait anymore. See you all soon. All right then. Right. I'll wait with you lot. I'll be a bit slow, so. 
May as well. Fine by me. I need to ask him a question anyway. How's it going? Okay, we'll go see if we can take care of that plant. See if we can, we can take care of. We can go to shortcut. <laughs> I always forget this. Hey, so. Be safe, Venora. <clears throat> if you want a red flag, Tori never told him anything. I doubt that. There's a lot of you. Good luck, all of you. Thank you. Trust me. Bezrin didn't know anything. I was the first person he heard it from. Right. Let's pick up the pace. I have a question. I have a question for you, not as a... Not as Arn, but as a DM. Do I actually have the Dwarven plate on my back? Send the character sheet, but I don't know if it's been clarified. Do you have the what? The plate I'm currently wearing. And the additional notes at the bottom of the sheet, but I don't know if people know that. Um, I mean, it can be said that you did. I'm pretty sure I said that was all right, because you were a noble. Hi. <coughs> I'll let them know if they ask me. Oh my god, Flonica. I'll be back. I need to go get the fucking stupid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> No, Kyla knows she's acting weird. She hasn't made eye contact with him at all today. <clears throat> He's gonna wait till this is done before he brings it up, though. He'll be watching her. Do know half of these people. Uh, I know Soma, Seat, and the people from the tower. Thirty the Forge. Hmm. Uh, the hunter I only know from the fight with the troll and how that went. I remember them coming into town. Kazim said he'll be uh, right over. He said, uh, and I quote, okay. Ah, fucking Flonica, I have to go deal with blah blah blah, and then he ran off. <laughs> Alright. So, Mom. He's gonna whisper. Yeah. Just between you and me. Keep an eye on Sarah. She's acting a little weird today. If I can't look after her, you have to. Understood.
I'm going to assume these are friends. Yes, they are. Right. Well, far from a stealth mission, I was not expecting this many people. Well, you know the northerners. They assemble a warband when orcs are nearby. Now we can do more than just scout. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Ten. Ten total. Sure. Come on. There he is. You're going too far, my lady. Unless you're picking up something. Oh. I didn't even see you. <laughs> it's good. We are um, stealthy. What we do. Good. There's ex hmm, you brought another Bjorning with you. Interesting. Yes. And a Triton, the dwarf. Rao. Nothing actually. Marin's here now. Mm. I see eleven. Seems you brought the whole party <laughs> with you. All right. Well. Rendezvous, rendezvous point is up ahead, mm -hmm. towards the north. We have someone that we'd like you to talk with, and from there we can replan accordingly. Shall we? All right. Yes. Lead the way. Pleasant, mm. actually. The flowers mm. look amazing. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> to the north. Come on. Elves. Always for show. I'll never understand it. I don't Always like how she looked at me. I wouldn't worry about it. Little known fact. The rangers are not usually elves. Humans, dwarves, half-breeds. That right. How do you think a skull got in with them? Okay. I see. Now you know. It's weird that we are splitting, but whatever. Come on. To the flatlands and up. All right, that too. That works. It's, you're capable of climbing, then right here is fine. Come on. That's a lot of old souls too with you. <sighs> Didn't mean to scare you, miss. <gasps> Keep bringing him forward. Oh I'll make sure everyone falls through. 
Jesus. Come along. Your orc detector's going off already. Follow her alone. All volunteers for the warband. Could do more than just scout now. You are correct. This is definitely more than just a scouting mission now, Sith. We have not been introduced. I am Marcelo. I'm the one in charge of the Rangers that you have been talking with. Oops. Marcelo, Sith, good to meet you. Good. Very well. If everybody could get closer so they can hear what I have to say, so I do not have to go over this multiple times. Do you all understand what you are signing up for? Yes, they do. Do we they do. understand? They could die down there. We have lost one down there already. Yes. I understand. Very well. From what these two here have been telling me from their scoutings in the forest the last couple of nights, they are starting to become more calculated and thorough with their raids and searching for supplies. They are believing that something might be in process of being constructed in the Badlands below, more than likely a fort. We need to see this for ourselves before it is completed.